Today, I'm going to be showing you how to boost your PS4 internet speed using a custom DNS setting individualized to your own internet, which will enable you to download games faster, lower ping, and reduce lag. And a few days ago, I did release a similar video to increase PS4 internet speed. However, these methods were easier and did not require anything other than your PS4 internet connection. For this advanced method, you're going to need a PC because we have to download a DNS benchmark program from Google. Alright, so once you're on your PC, all you want to do is head over onto Google Chrome and open up a new window. And from here on Google, we're just going to type in Namebench. And it'll be the first option that pops up. We have codegoogle.com. And from here, you just want to click on the Namebench Google Archive. And here it gives a little description about it. And all you need to do is head over onto Downloads. And from here, guys, we're just going to pick out which one suits us, whether you have a Mac or a Windows. For me, I have Windows. So I'm just going to pick this one for Windows. And it should download and here we go we have it downloaded here name bench in the corner it's a small file so it shouldn't take long and all you need to do now is just simply click on it and this will pop up name bench just describing it again and we're just going to hit extract and what this will do is this will open up the program immediately so from here guys all you really need to do is look at this so name servers we're going to leave that alone for these two top options we're going to leave these as default both checked and for options we want to leave both of these unchecked and your location, you can leave it to none. Health check performance, we want this on fast. And query data source, we're gonna leave that as Google Chrome. And the number of queries is essentially the number of DNS servers it'll test. So the more that you do, the better DNS server you should get. At 250, it takes about a little under half an hour when I tested it to test all these different queries and DNS servers. However, if you want it to be a little bit faster, you could lower this to 50, for example. But I, I highly recommend you leave it at 250 because why not just wait the couple extra minutes and get the best DNS server for your PS4 so you can download stuff faster. So without further ado, once you have all this typed in, it should be just default settings. You just want to press the start benchmark. And what it's going to do is it's going to test all these different servers, test these different threads, and in about under half an hour, it'll be done. And from there, we're going to look at the results. All right, guys, once all finished, this screen will pop up automatically, and it'll show you the best primary server, secondary server, and tertiary server. And it'll also show you the fastest and nearest recommended configurations. So what we're going to be doing here is you can have a look through these if you want to, if you want to pick them out yourself. It's showing the average speeds, the minimum and the maximums. And in my case, guys, it, these are the fastest settings for me of course these numbers are going to be different from you once you've completed the test so from here with these values the primary server and the secondary server we're actually going to be inputting these onto the ps4 so let's head over there now so from here we're just going to head on over to settings and then we're going to go down to network and set up our internet connection so i'm going to use wi-fi in this case however you could use your lan cable as well the main thing we're going to be doing here guys is changing the custom settings so let's just start with our wi-fi here and we're gonna go down head to custom and from here guys once we've gone through this custom we're just going to select our network whichever is yours in this case and next for ip address settings leave it to automatic dhcp host name just leave that do not specify so once we get to dns settings you want to hit manual because this is where we're going to be inputting the recommended configuration for the fastest and nearest dns servers for your primary and secondary so what you want to do guys is take those values and input those all right so once you've done that all you're going to do is go down and hit next and for mtu settings we're just going to hit automatic and once we go from there, proxy server, we're just gonna place do not use. And there you have it. These are the fastest DNS settings for your personal internet, whether it's using Wi-Fi or a wired connection.